Hey, I'm Curtis Stone and I've got a great GMC trade secret for you. That's all about the shake. Not this shake, this shake. It's about a milkshake. I've got a blender here and that's important when you're doing a milkshake, okay? I'm gonna keep this one really simple. I'm gonna make a chocolate malt shake, okay? And when you make a malt shake at home, people don't expect it so much. You, you sort of remember that from when you're a kid or when you go to a hamburger store or a good, good thick shake place. But a malt shake is, is really good and it's this stuff right here. It's actually barley or a similar grain that's been ground down. It's got that really nice malty flavor. All right, so you start over this side with your ice cream. So I've got a good quality vanilla ice cream here, and I'm gonna put like maybe four scoops. You don't wanna be stingy, because you want it to be nice and thick. Three, one more. Okay, so four scoops of ice cream, so maybe a cup of milk. So I've got some beautiful organic milk. Very good, a little bit more. All right, now that's the basis to your shake. And pretty much whatever you put in from here on in will determine what type of shake you're gonna have. You could put bananas, you could put strawberry, you could put some spices like this cinnamon I've got here or some nutmeg. But this one I'm gonna keep it dead simple. I've got some chocolate syrup. This is a fudge syrup that I made on another GMC trade secret. So if you wanna check that out, go and have a look at it. Here I've got the malt. So I'm gonna put like a tablespoon and a half maybe. I really like it to be nice and malty. So I'm gonna put plenty of that. And then your lid goes on and let's give it a, let's give it a blend. Okay, is it nice and thick? Let's see. You wanna just make sure. Oh, it could even be a bit thicker. Let me put one more scoop in. That's, a, that's the good thing about a shake. Even if you get the ratios quite, you know, slightly wrong at the start, it's fine. You can always top it up with just a bit more ice cream or a bit more milk if it's too, too thin. Okay, so one more big scoop there. Let's see. Mmm, yummy. Okay. So, what I'm going to do, and this is going to make it look a little bit fancy, but still really homemade. I'm going to take my fudge sauce, grab a spoon, and I'm just going to put the spoon into the glass, and then just kind of make a bit of a pattern. It doesn't have to be too fancy, and it can be really messy. It's still going to look good. But you go all the way up to the top of the glass, and you just do a bit of a squiggle with the chocolate sauce or the fudge sauce. Then you get your shake. Pour it in. Mm. <laughs> Yum. Don't fill it all the way to the top because I've got something else to show you that's going to bring the presentation to a whole new level. Grab yourself some whipped cream. Now don't use the stuff out of a can. Make sure you whip it yourself. It's so much better. So put a couple of spoons of that whipped cream in on the top there. Yum. And then get yourself a piece of chocolate and a little vegetable peeler and I'm just going to peel some of this chocolate, sort of shave it straight over the top of the glass and you turn just a regular old shake into something that looks super gourmet, it's going to impress all your friends. Kids go crazy for it, of course. I'm Curtis Stone and that is your GMC Trade Secret.